Today's interview is with Oren Claff. He's raised over $2 billion in investments for his companies. Oren's the best selling author of Pitch Anything and Flip the Script Getting People to Think Your Idea is Their Idea. It's, you know, as I listen to, I don't know, two to four books per week or so on Audible, this is one of my all time favorites. And I don't say that lightly. So definitely check out Flip the Script. You know, companies all over the world call him to help craft and deliver a pitch that will help them raise funds that will change their company. And so you can go to pitchmastery.com, pitchanything.com to learn more and check out what Oren has done. And he breaks down his process step by step. Uh, big shout out to a few people uh, before the interview. Uh, Amy Freeze, uh, who helped put this together and coordinate this with uh, Oren and myself and Guy, who um, does a lot of work with Oren as well. Check out their website, you know, pitchanything.com and pitchmastery.com. Also big shout out to Chris Snyder. Chris Snyder, you know, is kind of the inspiration behind this interview because we were talking about, he attended one of Oren's um, events and um, just was raving about it. And Chris Snyder runs Snyder Showdown podcast and owns the uh, banks.com actually. So check that out. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of inspiredinsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders you've heard of and some you've never heard of, you know, um, or when I had Ron Popeil on. A lot of people have never heard of Ron Popeil. Uh, yeah. He's the king of infomercials, one of the best pitch men. He sold billions of dollars of product and he's famous for saying, but wait, there's more. What I love hearing is the stories where he would talk about how he would wake up at four in the morning, he'd start buying produce, setting up his table in the streets of Chicago, selling the Vegematic. I I love those stories. Um, Chris Voss, former FBI hostage negotiator, talks about some of the most stressful situations when negotiating for people's lives in his book, Never Split the Difference, which is one of my favorites of all time. Uh, I'm gonna introduce Oren Claff in a second, who he also has one of my favorite books of all time. Um, also, P90X founder Tony Horton talks about how he made money, you know, before he sold hundreds of millions of dollars of P90X, he made money as a street mime. So, and I love hearing the kind of the challenge stories and he would put his hat on the street and he would make food and rent money by doing street mime, street performing. Uh, I love those stories. So check out those, many more at inspiredinsider.com. This episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran, and at Rise25, we help B2B businesses connect to their Dream 100 clients and referral partners and help you run your podcast so it generate, generates ROI. And, you know, podcasting for me, yes, like it's, it's one of the, been the best thing I've done for my business and my life because of the relationships. I've gone to people's weddings. I've gone on family vacations, but it's a lot more personal for me. Actually, um, my, it was inspired by my grandfather who was a Holocaust survivor and him and his brother were in concentration camps in Nazi Germany, and they were the only members of their family to survive. And, you know, the reason his words and legacy live on is because the Holocaust Foundation did an interview with him. And yeah. I put that interview on my about page. You can watch it on inspiredinsider.com on the about page. And, you know, I can be um, inspired and motivated and have appreciation and gratitude by watching that interview multiple times a year. So yes, I think podcasting is the best thing you could do for your business, but it leaves a legacy for you and your guest. So if you have questions about it, go to rise25.com or email us at support at rise25media.com. We've been doing it for over 10 years. We've got Berkshire Hathaway Company and many more. One of the last two questions I was asked since Inspired Insider is, you know, what's been a really challenging low moment that you had to push through? And on the flip side, what's been especially proud moment that you had through this, the whole journey. Yeah, I think, you know, the story I told you when I got off the board of this company uh, that we were trying to sell with the $6 million fee, it wasn't just the fee. I've worked on it for over two years. And so to, you know, and, and just going, I just worked on a fucking deal for two years with half my time. What else could I have done with that time? 
family, self, work, contribution, community, relationships, you know, instead of working on a crappy, you know, medical services. So, so that was a low point for sure. I woke up and going two years, <sighs> gone. Um, and certainly, you know, a high point. Real was, quick on the low point, Warren, yeah. how do you then, your, your mentality, how do you actually come back quick? What do you tell yourself? Is there self-talk after that? Because you could, you could dwell on, I just spent two years and in, in, sit in a corner, but I'm assuming, I know you probably don't do that. So what are you telling yourself internally to just get out of that? Four words. Life is not fair. Hmm. Look around. We're in Southern California, driving XYZ cars, living by the beach, got a beautiful family, you know, shopping at Whole Foods, doing work I love. Uh, certainly a setback, but you don't, you don't deserve anything. There's no written in the Talmud or the book of life that you are going to get success or money or love or appreciation or, or long life. Right. And, and, you know, lots of people did woke up today dead. <laughs> okay. And so life is not fair. You get what you, you know, like my little boy says, you get what you get and you don't complain. I don't really pres prescribe to that. You see, I complain a lot, <laughs> but you get what you get. And normally you get what you get because you let it happen. And so, so anyway, um, yeah, life is not fair. You're, then, you, you know, just stoic philosophy, just compartmentalize. You have to, if you talk to anybody who's been in um, a white collar crime lawsuit, right? Um, and I've interviewed some of those people. They, it's just so overwhelming, right? And they, they just, you have to compartmentalize your life and say, this is this. And this is this. So compartmentalize. Life is not fair. Get back in the game. Um, and this is one thing I say: like once you're in the game, once you're in the, once you're, you know, you know, you're in the cockpit and you're shooting bullets and stuff to come to you, and adrenaline's going, you're fine, right? It's walking up to the cockpit, strapping in, putting your hands on the gun when there's no enemies around. That that's when you're afraid. But once you're in it, you're in it. And and so it's just getting back in it and and recognizing well, life is not fair. Thank you know you. the the, yeah. um, the upside. Uh, the high, you know, the, the highlights are, um, I think the, uh, oh, this is great. I'll just tell you this and we got to wrap up. I'm, uh, I'm sure yeah. I'm tired. So, so, um, I had built my little boy, uh, for his third birthday, a monster truck, like truly a giant truck. And up to three, I mean, when a kid's two, they're basically a sea cucumber, like they can talk, <laughs> but you're not talking to, you're not having conversations. Right. So I showed him a picture of it, but he couldn't, you know, anyway, if you have a two year old, you know, but then, uh, he told his mom, dad built me a monster truck. And that was like a huge moment because, because what happened is he was taking information and then relating it to someone else. And of course she said, your dad would not build you a monster truck, right? You need to learn what a toy is, right? And what's not a toy. And so he got in trouble. He's like, no, I saw it. It's real. But that I just realized like this human is now communicating with other humans and I have to be careful about what I tell him. He's not just <laughs> one way, you know, messaging system. Now messages are coming out. And that was, uh, uh, you know, not a business highlight, but no, oh, totally. You know. It comes full circle. Oren, I want to be the first one to thank you. Check out pitchmastery.com, orenclaff.com, pitchanything.com. Definitely flip the script. Thanks, Oren. Thanks, Jeremy. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out